Tatana Island is just across downtown Port Moresby. However, services such as clean water and sewerage has lacked over the years. The bark has always been passed to poor leadership and cooperation. Today, the Prime Minister visited them. <laughs> In his keynote speech, Mr. O'Neill urged the leaders from the Motu Kuitabu Assembly to work in unison with the member for Moresby Northwestern Health Minister Michael Malabag, Moresby South MP and Sports Minister Justin Kachenko, and NCD Governor Powers Pakop. He said good leadership is needed to drive development agendas for the Motu Kuitabuans. Pride and ego does not change people's life, does not improve quality of life. As Governor said, we have wasted the last five years. We must not waste the next five years. If Motu Kotu, Kotu, Motu Kotabu Assembly cannot work with us, I can tell you this today. Our government will intervene directly by itself. Our government will intervene directly by itself. We must work together. Our invitation is there for him to work with us. We have known Mirye Kubu for many, many years. Some of us have known him for well over 20 years. So nothing is stopping him. We want a constructive service delivery mechanism for Moto Kodabu. You have a right government now that will deliver for you and work with you. The Prime Minister then launched a water project and staff accommodation for the community health worker. <laughs> 17 taps will be installed in mid-September. One pump and two water tanks will also be installed to effectively and efficiently supply clean water to the islanders. Please be wise when using water, as it is not free. Remember, it is Edaranu, our water, but it comes with a price. The Prime Minister committed 100,000 kina for the church projects. Mr. Malabag, NCD Governor and Edaranu committed over 600,000 kina for the water project. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News.